All right. Hey, yo, Shrek Daddy, what's up? We are live. We should be live. You should be able to hear me. I know we've had uh, some, def uh, some technical difficulties in the past. So uh, I checked on the mic. Mic's all good. I know I've started them before. <laughs> it's been not working, but uh, should be good. I think every time like I update OBS, which uh, if you're not aware how this live streaming goes, it's just kind of what you record with and stuff. But anyway, you guys don't care about that topics today as the title says we're going to be talking about revenge there's an upcoming new drop there have been a ton of leaks they're kind of uh, getting back in action if you would like to put it that way they've been on a hiatus of the as they've swapped warehouses over the past two months i want to say and uh we're going to go over that we're also going to go over uh ftp i think today maybe yesterday i think it was today they dropped their collaboration with I think Clearwater Skate Shoes is the brand is just uh, three different pairs of shoes very similar to that of like a Vans uh, silhouette or whatever so we'll cover that and then there's also a Carhartt Whip Wacko Mariah Maria collaboration I've been seeing those guys pop up a lot lately I know they've got um, a longer history but I have just been made aware of them recently since the they've been collaborating with some brands that I follow more thoroughly so that's kind of what we're talking about and then uh, at the end whoever's sitting in here watching will uh, do the wheel of names like we do every now and then give away a free sticker pack get you guys some of that some goodies and of course the sticker pack I'm talking about is the one right here if you lose you know feel free to head on over to eBay I also have one listed on Grailed um, Grailed only lets you post like one item at a time you can't post like multiple so um, on eBay we have like multiple this is like more than 10 available but on Grailed it's like somebody buys it and then it um, it's gone you have to like relist a singular packet to sell so um, that being said let's see what else is up in the comments free sticker pack for everybody no unfortunately not probably just do one maybe two if you guys are uh, lucky tonight uh, Revenge for Eternity, yo, what's up, Pasta? I haven't seen you in a minute for a while. Tristan cheated on me, hey, well, chill, out, allegedly. What's up, Shrek Daddy, Duke, Salawas, what's up? Young Dior, uh, well, what's my girlfriend's hat? Uh, Bape and OVL collab today, too. Yeah, we can cover that. Uh, I don't know, I've, I've personally never really been big into Bape. Uh, it kind of seems like they're dying down a little bit, too, in terms of, like, popularity that they used to have a couple years ago um and then i've also never really been into ovo but we can for sure take a look at that just remind me later if i forget o onissimo nato appreciate the 99 cents you guys trying to get me my first bill oh another 199 thank you thank you very much uh i appreciate it uh young dealer with the eyeballs i hate drake yeah uh, i used to i think what was it um Ever since, if you're reading this, it's too late or whatever. I haven't really been a fan of a lot of stuff he's putting out. Hotline Bling was a bop, though. You know, uh, what was the other one? One Dance, super catchy. But anything past that and, like, a bunch of other stuff on that album, I just wasn't really feeling. Anyway, uh, get this out of the way. This is linked down below. It's uh, 10 bucks. I think free shipping for U.S. people. Um, yeah, free shipping for U.S. people. Uh, I'm no longer located in Iowa City. Uh from Kansas City, but it's whatever. Uh, if you guys like this, they're available here. We're giving away a free one at the end, and stay tuned for everything else we got in store. Moving forward, first thing we're going to talk about is the revenge stuff. I feel like everybody always just wants to hear about the revenge news, so if you guys are watching this on the um, post-uploaded, I think the VOD is probably like a correct term to call it. If you guys are watching that, we'll get it out of the way first, and then um, you don't have to stick around for maybe brands you don't really care about. So, <laughs> Revenge dropped a pair of jeans back in November 2019. Uh, it was F Good, blue denims, the white Revenge logo all over it. Uh, did they drop them? I know they, I know they leaked the, or it was like a leak or like a concept. I don't know if they ever actually dropped them. Uh, music you listen to. Right now I'm playing Mark Rubier. He has a new album that came out like a week or two ago called Loop Daddy 3, but that's just because uh, if uh, like it, he lets people stream and like he won't copyright their music. Um, it's 
probably not too loud right now. You guys probably won't pick it up too much, but uh, it helps me. I feel weird when I'm just talking and it's silent otherwise. Um, 420, Roast Garrett from Jacob. I appreciate the donations, everybody. Thank you very much. Um, we're not here to roast Garrett. We will, uh, you know, I'll critique anything I see, obviously. I'm not going to just sit here and dick ride him, but um, we're here to cover everything that's going on. I'll, I'll give my honest opinion, as always. Uh, who's your fave artist or one of? Uh, when you say artist, do you, mean, do you mean musician or are we talking like um, more clothing wise or uh, like actual like art, like paintings? I, I assume you mean music, but if you want to clarify, I'll give you a, more of a specific answer. Yo, I want to win. We'll see. We'll see. Yes, sir. Ski. Trent Wilson. What's up, man? Uh, what do you think of 21 Savages album? Uh, man, I know people. <laughs> I have a seven head. Uh, I know people really like Twenty One Savage. Man, I've never really just. I don't know. I've never really gotten behind his sound. Like just, I, I don't know. It's just something I've never really cared about. I thought it was really cool that they got Morgan Freeman on Savage Mode too. I think's the album. I thought that was really cool. Um, Metro Boomin has some stuff I can get behind, but yeah, I don't know. I've never really got behind Twenty One Savage's sound. I've just never been really big fan of that. Um, uh, just an Insta photo on his story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he's had the all-over print pants, and then I, I think there's a couple different ones. He's posted, like, khakis with, like, a little ARC logo on the back. I'm Bay, thank you. Uh, where do you think I could buy le Legit Revenge? Because I want the Valentine hoodie in black. Fire. Um, Grailed. Grailed is always a good place. I don't, I don't know if they do... I don't know if they have, like, fakes of that, so... You might be safe. And then always, you know, you can check the subreddit for a legit check, or else you can check the Discord, which we'll show off later. Of course, everything is linked down below in the description of the live stream. So if you're not a member there, you can go join up on the um, subreddit or the Discord. So those are good resources for you. I want my money back. Nah, dude, it's gone. YouTube's got it now. Uh, musician, my bad. LMFAO, blue or red lightning, hoodie bro. Um... I think I like the blue more. I, like, red's my favorite color, but just, like, for lightning, I feel like I like the blue. Maybe a little bit more towards the realistic side of it. Um, mu musicians, uh, I tend to, like, just really get into... So I follow, like, everything that comes... Like, as it comes out. So, like, every Friday morning, I'll listen to all the new albums that come out and stuff. Um, so, I, I feel like I'm a little biased in the sense of, like, whoever's been releasing stuff recently... I'd say that are my favorite, but um, as of late, you know, the new Joji album, of course, I dropped a bunch of Joji videos and stuff. Uh, I love his stuff. Um, uh, Action Bronson had a good album that dropped uh, like two weeks ago. I'm a big Young Lean fan, Jonathan Leendur. He's good. Um, obviously, X, Juice, they're good. Wi Fi's Funeral has some alright stuff. Um, like some of Kid Trunks' music, Ski Mask, those people. Um, but yeah, the uh, main stuff lately, probably like uh, Joji, Action Bronson, and then Young Lean. But anyway, so here, probably the first thing I want to get to uh, for Revenge. Like I said, they had kind of like a two-month break, really nothing to talk about. It might have even been like three months. It's been a long time since they've had a drop or done anything of importance. And they Garrett laid out this big, huge, like plan of everything that he was going to do i think he, he was like september drop uh august drop october drop and he said all this stuff that's going to drop in between he's like pants coming uh like august drop uh kurt cobain mickey mouse stuff will be september drop and of course you know september came no drop um august also you know no drop nothing uh and finally october 18th is the drop date that we're getting so um we're going to get a drop in, really no idea what's going to be in it i would assume the mickey stuff since that was supposed to drop so long ago um the only thing that's like really confirmed right now is the um the embroidered jeans so uh coming in a blue on blue colorway and i imagine they dropped the black on black as well maybe not they have been known to split up these bigger embroidered items the colorways between drops so maybe we'll only get the blue on blue that'd be kind of disappointing i think a lot of people are looking uh, more forward towards the black on black. Um, 
Uh, Garrett posted some sweats that he took off like in one minute. I have a screenshot. All right, you can post it in the Discord under the media um, section, and we can look at it if it's not already there. But yeah, so we have, um, I guess there's also going to be a Halloween drop, and we get to decide which one the community, you know, I guess you just DM Garrett which one you like more, and he's going to drop either this bat that has kind of like a revenge smoke logo. Um, it's hard to tell if it's like smoke or if it's supposed to be like blurred kind of. Um, when I first saw it, I, I thought it was more towards like smoke, but um, yeah, we have that one, and then we also have this kind of ransom note one, which we have seen stuff similar to this before, where it's like revenge, and then every piece is almost like a cut out from a newspaper, you know, similar to like a ransom note. Um, there's something about like dies in electric chair, some other stuff going on on the bottom. Uh, I, I think this one's all right, but uh, I definitely like the bat one more. And uh, as I've said in the comments down below, um, I like this bat one more, but I, I wouldn't wear either of them. Um, maybe put the bat big on the back. Maybe put revenge across the back big. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. But kind of cool. He's letting the community decide. Another interesting thing or um, kind of important thing that somebody said was, you know, this stuff yeah it drops on halloween but revenge's shipping has gotten worse and worse arguably so you know you buy this on halloween it's kind of halloween themed especially this bat one i think ransom note less so but people were saying it wasn't really halloween themed i think this bat one's kind of halloween themed but it's a good point you know you, it's kind of weird to be wearing holiday themed stuff on the opposite end of the year or you know after the holiday so you know you buy this and get it what by christmas or something so uh, i don't know uh he had the revenge uh wait, he had the revenge hoodie in black with blue outline with anarchy on the back black and blue uh, i feel like with the recent jeans leak with the gray skull they did at least uh to place a revenge logo on it because otherwise it's going to be some cheap pair of jeans that you found somewhere i feel like with the recent jeans leak with the gray skull I don't know if I saw that one. Oh, the all over pattern maybe? I think I might know what one you're talking about. We're gonna take a look at all the leaks later, so we'll go through that a little bit more. Uh, I need that no cap. Nitrous off Joji's album is the best no cap. Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, Pretty Boy. That's a very fun song. Uh, other than that, Mr. Hollywood, really good too. Yeah, same. Yeah, I just popped them on the sub. 67% uh, say the smoke hoodie on my story. Yeah, I feel that. All right. Onisimo Nado. Am I pronouncing that correctly? I'm always wondering. Um, uh, in other revenge news, we have a lot of people getting these notes. Um, somebody actually asked them to post a close-up of it. We'll take a look at that quick before we get back to everything else. So, obviously, you know, this has been something that Garrett and Revenge have been doing for a long time. <laughs> You'll order an item, and instead of just, like, refunding you, they'll send you the wrong size item with a note and be like yo sorry here's some socks and uh asked for a close-up of the note dude uh, sent a perfectly you know positioned you know close-up picture of the note which is nice to have it says hello unfortunately due to an error in fulfillment we are not able to fully complete your order we've replaced the missing item with a substitute in the closest size possible we've also added a free item to compensate for the inconvenience apologize and thank you for your understanding and constant support so I don't know, man. How, <laughs> how is this an acceptable response? Like, they should be refunding your order. instead. Because, like, all right, say I've seen people who order, like, a large varsity jacket, right? And they get sent, like, a medium varsity jacket. And it's like, bro, that's like a $168 item or whatever. And it's in a size that, you know, maybe you were counting on that large because you needed it to fit large. You weren't necessarily going for an oversized fit. And the medium won't even fit. Like, what are you going to do with that? Yeah, you could resell it, but it's like, that's going to be a pain. And a lot of revenge pieces just don't resell. So um, they're really sending you a useless item in a lot of cases. But hey, you get some free socks out of it. So um, here's the original post. The guy got the bone arc t-shirt in a wrong size. But in his case, it actually worked out. He was planning to oversize it. So it came in like a more standard fitting size. So. 
And you also got a beach ball. But, <laughs> I don't know. I'd be pissed if they just sent me the wrong size. Um, somebody, somebody also made this meme. <laughs> they posted on a t-shirt. Might actually be one of the most upvoted posts. Definitely one of the most. It might be the most upvoted post on the subreddit. But yeah, they just ripped it and put it on the shirt, <laughs> which is funny. Um, also, you guys can see what I've been looking at on StockX over here on the right. <laughs> the Supreme Bleed shirt. Um, also, Adidas, kind of cool, to a little, little sidebar. Adidas released these Torsion Artillery High Wild Stallion shoes, which I thought were pretty cool. They're based off of the uh, Bill and Ted shoes that they wore in the original Bill and Ted, I believe. So I thought that was cool. Um, I guess those released yesterday at some time. I, I missed out on the drop, but cool shoes. I think they had like a super high retail. It was like 180 or something. Um, what, what's everybody talking about? Uh, pronouncing it a little right, somebody said. <laughs> Are you copying the blue jeans with the blue Revenge logo on it? I do not care for that blue wash on the denim. The like raw denim, I think, is kind of an accurate way to put it. I, I don't really care for that type of denim. I'm more towards like black denim. I, I like the most or maybe like a lighter wash loan what's good what's good how are you doing also there's a new leak oh shit sweatpants i uh, hope i never get this paper excuse uh, excuse because i live in canada lmao what did you miss uh not a whole lot honestly we talked to I, I hope there's been entertaining content but uh as far as important stuff goes you didn't miss too much um there's like a halloween thing going on uh that you can see on the subreddit that's cool um, yeah, Duke got you caught up. Appreciate it. Here's the unreleased socks, though. I guess somebody's trying to sell them for $125 on Grailed, which, I mean, you know, people always list stuff for ridiculous amounts. You'll see something listed for like a million dollars on StockX, and they're just waiting for an offer, you know. You you price it super high, then, you know, you send them an offer, and then they'll come down, and you end up meeting in the middle somewhere, and I don't know. I feel like it's a it's a tactic. But, yeah, same thing happened there. They got sent socks. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else is up? Some people complaining about the Juice World um, collaboration pieces that were supposed to come. I think they said they didn't even get them. Uh, 999 Club is a scam. Um, I did get my revenge stuff. I ordered a V-Loan shirt as well as a um, kind of like uh, Revenges for Two knockoff one. Both of them came, took a super long time, but... Uh, at least I got them, <laughs> and they were the right size. Um, Revenge Orange Kill Hoodie Legit Check. I looked at these for so long, because if we get duplicate posts or something like this, if it's legit check on the same exact item, um, I w I'll remove them, and I was like, is this the same one? I don't know. Uh, I, I think they are not, but uh, moving forward, m more legit checks. Get a lot of legit checks in here. Um, somebody has a design, kind of cool. Um, I think X had a single that was like some eyeballs and then his dreads like that. Um, is this the original tag, somebody's saying? I think they are trying to bring back, yeah, the yellow lightning tag. Kind of cool. Um, we will see these in leaks a little bit later. Um, yeah, same picture, I guess. Um, I think he posted, yeah, a little bit different. It shows the back in a different colorway. Um, there's something important up here, I thought. Strings in my hoodie. Oh, uh, not that. That note. Next drop, October 18th. Um, we also saw this design previewed. Revenge Death Frown graphic, which I, I guess it says death. I don't know, man. It's hard to read, I thought, anyway. But Steven put this up. I guess it says death. I don't know. It's on the Discord. We'll go over to the Discord after we finish Reddit. Um, what do you think about them TikTokers got exclusive revenge pieces? It makes sense to promote, like, it, it makes sense to send TikTokers pieces to kind of get brand recognition. But in terms of overlay or overlap with the pre-existing fan base, I don't think it's, you know, necessarily <laughs> fitting uh, in with kind of the... Uh, the pre-existing fan base i guess i'll say again but yeah I, I don't know i think they're targeting a whole new fan base a lot of younger fan base um maybe i don't know i know a lot of x fans are young uh what do you think would be the next revenge drop hard to say man uh those pants and then also <laughs> i gotta skip this song i don't know if you guys can hear that but uh 
yeah the pants will be dropping maybe we'll see it in multiple colorways like i said they've you know they've split up the embroidered crew necks and some uh some drops and embroidered uh hoodies have been split up too so it's hard to guess if we'll see multiple um the mickey mouse kurt cobain stuff they were supposed to drop i believe in september Garrett said in a live stream obviously nothing dropped in september so maybe we'll see those um i hope so i thought some of that stuff was kind of cool um still haven't got my v loan juice world stuff i would charge back it's been a long time since that stuff uh since i got my stuff even got your v loan stuff but not your revenge 999 yeah i'd maybe start thinking about charging back i love revenge but they need to up their customer service yeah i mean i guess they're a big reason why they took this like two month hiatus was to improve their shipping also it's supposed to have been like a total rehaul of the brand or you know enforcement of the brand i don't know uh, a lot of people were complaining about this uh speaking about juice world stuff uh there was supposed to be a revenge arc logo on the kind of like the cuff down here and i guess nobody's had it which is kind of whack especially if you're wanting some branding on it i don't think there's any other branding on the piece um juice collab somebody made this design got the 999 skull and then kind of a um almost heavenly uh, juice image with him looking down and then a glow. I do like the red color. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I wasn't crazy about this one. Off-white design somebody made. Uh, legit checks, legit checks. Um, I think this kind of might be, yeah, we have this denim. I'm not sure if we covered this in the last live stream. This is another one we saw. Um, kind of interesting. Looks like it's like an all-button fly. Something going on up there. And maybe that's a jacket. I'm a no man. Um, yeah, maybe that's a jacket and this is the collar. I don't know. The first time I saw it, I thought it was pants, but looking at it again, might be wrong. Uh, kind of cool though. I like this wash. This is like more towards the wash I like. The embroidery is nice. It doesn't say revenge across your crotch, which is kind of weird to have. Um, but yeah, I think that covers pretty much everything from the subreddit. Uh, we will see a lot of this stuff again in leaks. So we'll head on over there now to the Discord, which once again, it is over and linked in the description down below if you guys want to join up. There's a bunch of stuff going on here. We got all the leaks um, and talks, you know, you can do legit checks, all that good stuff. Uh, Garrett said next drop is October 15th. When did he say that? He said 18th. Um, and 18th lines up with uh, Sunday. That always drops Sunday. Um, yeah. Because tomorrow's the 11th, so yeah, it, it's definitely next Sunday. Um, Johnny Sins is my dad's co-worker, and they're always clapping, never capping, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Charlie's like 16, getting a hoodie that she'd probably throw at the end of her closet, LMAO. Yeah. Uh, go show love to stepbro Pluto on his song, Disrespect. He goes crazy. Uh, 18th, yeah, he posted on his IG. Yeah, 18th. Wait, oh, you just... Made a, made a typo. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alrighty, here we go. We're getting into the leaks now. So this is the Revenge leaks. We got the sweatpants. I guess these are brand new. Um, got some bats down here, which are looking weird. I guess this is just the skeleton of a bat since like the wings are all kind of out like that. Makes me... Uh, I've been watching this uh, HBO show. I recently got HBO uh, Max, which is kind of crazy. So much stuff on there. But I've been watching The Outsider pretty cool show it's like a murder mystery based on a Stephen Hawking book and they got a something that seems like it might be a vampire in there so I don't know bats vampire coincidence I don't know man uh we also have this smoke logo which looking at it is it really a smoke logo this looks like I know it's kind of like a shit quality image but uh Looks like grainy, like almost like dotty and not smooth like a smoke would be. Maybe it's supposed to be like a spider web or something. I don't know. Looks kind of weird. Um, I do like seeing them use different fonts though. So I'm at least glad it's not just another arc logo. That being said, I don't really like sweatpants. Uh, I, I would never wear these. I don't particularly care for this design um, also. Moving on, we have this one that we already saw, you know, same thing as the sweatpants, basically. Uh, I like this style or this approach using those graphics a lot more than the uh, than the sweatpants, though. 
Uh, moving forward, we also have this one, the ransom note one. I think we might be able to, yeah, get a little bit closer of a look on it. Oh shit, a lot closer of a look on it. Um, dies in electric chair. Um, got a picture of a dude here. Actually, almost looks like we got another picture of a bat down here. Uh, deserve punishment. Uh, somebody said on eve of death. So yeah, I don't know. That's an alright design. I like the, the other one more though. Moving on, here's the jeans that people were mentioning. We got these all over prints of skulls, which uh, these aren't. These are all right. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel weird wearing a bunch of skulls though. I'm not like that emo, but give me like a good Ghost Rider shirt. If you guys have seen that one that I wear, I love that. I love that shirt. So comfortable too. I like Raglan's. Uh, let's see what else is up. What's your GF's name? You guys need to chill. I also say her name in the video, so if you guys are really tripping about that, you can watch the video. Uh, meh. Sweats are basic. Yeah, yeah. these sweatpants is too basic. Also, like, um, for the sweatpants anyway, this is like the same one, because they did the same logo on the, like, uh, the basic, like, the literally, like, basic sweatpants that match with the like unreleased or friends and family tops right like they did a blue and just like this regular logo and then did they do a red i don't know I, I feel like they have an unreleased like army green that has that logo on the side too though but yeah anyway we also have this t-shirt for the same like kind of ransom electric chair design that we saw uh, a little bit higher quality of an image this time get a little bit closer not that helps kind of already see everything in it uh, serial killer executed in Florida 78 murder of 12 year old girl all right so I guess if you guys are really interested you could try to figure out who the piece is referencing it seems like it would be an actual person uh, death comes to a killer anyway uh, I'd, I'd not that I would buy it but I'd much per, much rather prefer that on a t-shirt than a hoodie especially for the price point <laughs> all right moving on we got some more hoodies what's everybody up to in the chat um sweats aren't great but i think the best he is uh done honestly how much are sweatpants finna be uh, i can't think off the top of my head um of any good i think 68 for sweats uh tripping <laughs> Alright, so we have some more hoodies, and if you guys have been following Revenge for, I don't know, maybe a couple months or whatever, you've probably seen the varsity jacket, like, spider design, whatever. This is obviously reminiscent of that. We have the same um, arc logo used here. We have the spider maybe in the same placement, but instead of having the, like, all over spider web, we just got the arc logo that uses the spider web. And then also on the back, we have this, which... I'm, you know, I assume it's supposed to be like a spiderweb skull, but honestly, the skull looks more like it's just kind of like cracked and like fractured. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've never really been into the spiderweb designs that he's been putting out. It is cool to see this like orange blank, uh, especially with the old tag. I think that's that's cool to see. Um, but yeah, not not a piece for me. I don't like the spider stuff. <laughs> And we also have it on a white colorway. I'm sure a lot of these are mock-ups. I don't know. It'd be kind of weird if we saw this drop on, like, actually three different colorways. But we also have this. This is the drop announcement, of course. And this is the blue on blue denim. I think we saw this teased before, I think, sometime before the actual date was released. We also saw this. These fire. They use too much skulls. Don't at me. <laughs> mad corny um we better find out if these puff or not before the drop what are your favorite what's your favorite of the leaks i love the old very rare designs yeah I'm reminiscent for sure um favorite of the leaks um they had like an all over print they had like an all over arc logo for one of the denim jackets that that was pretty decent and then uh, the, I don't know, a lot of people were hating on it, but I actually don't mind the Kurt Cobain Mickey stuff, like, especially in the form of a t-shirt, I think it's cool, because, like, it's a lot on the cheaper side, it's obviously not, like, the best design, like, especially since he pretty much ripped it off from another brand, but I still think it's a fun design and kind of a cool design, so 
Um, I, I, I've been waiting for those for a long time. Will I buy them now? I don't know. Maybe for a giveaway, but I don't know. hard to support the brand with Garrett's actions. I love the old, yeah, that denim atrocious, somebody says. You should do orange arc on black on a hoodie. Orange arc on black. Yeah, for, yeah, it'd be cool to see something like that for Halloween. Imagine replacing this blue revenge logo with a with one, <laughs> with a white one. Uh, I like the camo zip up. Yeah, I've never been a fan of those like full zip ones. Even like Bape's shark hoodie ones, I, I don't know. I've never been crazy about the full zip ones. Uh, here's a very close up of the uh, one we saw on the subreddit. We have these buttons right here. Definitely looking like a jacket of some sort, which uh, it'll be interesting to see. Maybe we get an ARC logo on the back. I know they've done a uh, red on black, I think it was, uh, of like thrifted Levi's, I want to say they did. And then they also did the white on blue, which I thought were some cool pieces. That was like right around the time I was getting into Revenge, so I thought that was cool. Uh, we also have this, which is hard to tell what it is. A lot of people were saying it's probably like the sole part that goes on your shoes or like the side of the sole. I don't know if that's still considered the sole, but um, they got some interesting stuff going on here. We have uh, a U instead of a V, it appears, and then also in the creator's uh, Hanos, there's no like top on the D, which I don't know, bro. They need to start spell checking their stuff. Ever since the Rick Venge incident, it's been kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, let's see, white, yeah, jean jacket. Yeah, the it, it'd be cool to see some more jean jackets, especially if it's getting colder, you know, fall weather, perfect jean jacket weather. Got the beach towel leaked, which, I don't know, I think the beach towel's fine. Um, I think I said this in my last live stream. Like, I think we covered everything else in the last live stream, but... I'd much rather have like an all over print one than just like a big arc one. Uh, we have these shoes which are trash in my opinion. Very similar to what FTP dropped though today. Uh, we got the knit. Uh, let me move this. I'm sure you guys got that vibration. My bad. Um, it, I mean this is another thing that maybe we'll see in the drop. He's been leaking or like teasing this design for so long. Of course the ones that we saw a couple months back were actually the black with um, like a neon green detailing and then also a like hot pink one we saw. I think it was the two colors. Uh, yeah, we got that version of the pants, this lighter, which I guess is just a case for a lighter, like you uh, slide it on, I wanna say. The basketballs, this track, uh, track jacket, the app, <laughs> uh, other basketball. I mean, a lot of this stuff is just like broad pass on it. Um, but here, these are the Kirk Cobain Mickey designs I was talking about. I really don't know why he did the like desaturated version on the black. I feel like the colors, like this is a playful design. The colors should be bright and like pop on the background, but I don't know. And then also on the back, having it like the front and back view, I've never been a fan of that type of approach for designs, but it's whatever. Here's what I was just talking about with those colors. Almost more of like a magenta or like a purple even. Kind of cool. Uh, we got the spider jacket, which I was talking about too. The ski drop, which I don't know, man. This looked so bad in per Like, I thought it looked bad here, but like in person too, I thought it looked super bad. But I don't know, whatever. People liked it. I saw some people getting it in hand and saying it looked better. And then a lot of people were saying, but I don't know. That's just them. Imagine replacing, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, because he leaked the shoe and that rubber part was on them. Ah, gotcha. So that, that's, I guess, what it is. Hopefully it doesn't say Hanos because it'd be weird. But with that being said, feel free to ask any more revenge related questions. But we will be moving on into the topic of FTP for the uh, next portion of the video. We're not too much to talk about with them since it's a pretty small drop, but we'll be talking about them nonetheless. <laughs> uh, somebody said that looks so terrible. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here's the FTP. I want to say it was clear water. Maybe they'll have some description. Um, no, but I, I swear this was a collaboration with like clear water shoes. Yeah, clear weather. My bad, my bad. Clear weather skate shoes. So. Th these were my favorite. 
that being said like i don't know i still wasn't really feeling them especially the side print like i really don't care for this it has the ftp spell out along the side and it's like spread out kind of weird just with the with the all over print or the yeah like the all over print on the top i guess you don't really need the spell out on the sole uh i don't know i, I would have rather it had like that big tab on the back right here i would have rather that said ftp maybe move the top logo down just put it there and then get rid of the branding on the side because that brand that branding on the side just doesn't really fit for me i don't think uh kind of an interesting touch though you got this fabric right here which i'm you know it's a skateboarding company i'm sure that's there for like kick flipping and stuff so gives your shoes a little bit more life but yeah, I don't know. I think FTP has definitely had a lot better shoes. These ones were, you know, pretty mid. Uh, all over print shoelace, kind of cool. And then we got that coming in at $95. We also had the FTP Donnie in the white, which is the same silhouette, except just white, uh, no all over print. We have the black sole this time. Got the spell out on the side, which I, I really don't like this spell out. I think they've used this on some t-shirts too, where it's kind of like really spaced out. I just don't care for that. The embroidery on the back is a nice touch though. I think that's pretty cool. Clear waters aren't even close to Vans. <laughs> I mean, these, I, I think a lot of, uh, like the Vans era, I think it's called, is pretty close. The Vans Authentic is another one of Vans silhouettes that I think are pretty close to this. Uh, this. I don't think... Uh, any of the vans really have that kind of like covering over the toes though do i skate no i do not uh the huffs went way harder yeah i thought that yeah especially such a recent ftp shoe release to compare it to i think the huff ones were a lot better um actually no i'm thinking of the lakai ftp lakai was a couple months ago but yeah i think the ftp huff were definitely a lot better i'd also say the lakais were better than this uh, i'm not crazy about these ones but this is what we had. I mean, honestly, almost looking like a bowling shoe. Then you get the shoelaces, which I guess they come with two different pairs since they're showing this black pair also. But yeah, everything's sold out. We also have this black one, which has FTP repeating along the side. And this one, the FTP Dodds are just a slip on rather than a tie shoe, which I've never been a fan of these like loafer type shoes. I will say the bottom's cool though. They got that like gel bottom with the FTP logo looking kind of cool. But yeah, I, I don't know. Do you guys really see like a need for these to exist? <laughs> I don't know. Does, is there anybody that's really like, I need these? I don't know. Especially with the designs, I feel like they could have done more. I feel like FTP shoes for the most part are usually like kind of quiet though. But yeah, they've done a lot of shoes in the past. But these are these are pretty low tier for me. I don't know. So they did the DCs. Yeah, the DCs had some cool ones. They've also had some like pretty whack DCs in my opinion though. Does FTP still sell out fast? I haven't been following the brand like I used to. Yes, they still uh, they still sell out pretty fast. No, I do not, lol. Icy Bottom is cool. But yeah, um, I th and I think FTP is also gearing up for a big drop. Um, they're... I, don't know, I haven't been following FTP for a super long time, so I'm unfamiliar with their drop cycle. From what I understand, it's pretty random. <laughs> it seems like whenever Zach feels like he's ready to drop stuff, he drops everything. But that being said, Zach has been posting. If you don't know who Zach is, I guess he's the owner of FTP. He's been posting a lot of stuff on his Instagram of like clothing racks full of like winter jackets and stuff. So people are saying it's probably going to be the fall drop, which is. Hopefully coming up soon because there's some cool stuff in there. There's a short sleeve button up that uses their 10 year all over print of like all their logos that they've used. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. I've been waiting for that for a while. But yeah, that's about that's about it for FTP. Moving on, we have another collaboration uh, this time between Wacko Maria and Carhartt. I'm not sure if Guilty, Pla uh, Guilty Parties is a part of their name. No, I'm not very familiar with Wacko Maria. Maybe that's just a section of them or the name of the collaboration. I got no idea. But I don't know. I was underwhelmed. When I when I heard about this, I was kind of excited. Like I thought there was 
some pretty cool stuff that could, that could come out of it, but I thought the result was pretty meh. And uh, it, I mean, it's not even like sold out. There's some pieces that have sold out so far, but really all they did was print Guilty Parties, Paradise Tokyo, and then they changed the Carhartt badge to use this font instead, where it has kind of like a old English font almost instead of the normal thing, kind of like more blocky Carhartt font, which all right, it's kind of a cool touch, but you know, I guess the main thing, especially what uh, Wacko Maria is known for, is the leopard print, which uh, I do like this shirt right here, but uh, definitely not for 268 bucks. But we also have this kind of like bowling looking shirt, which is just the black version of that, and you got some detailing in the leopard still. Somebody said they bug in. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's for FTP or not. Uh, we also have the classic Detroit jacket, which you know. Of course, Carhartt Classic, staple piece. Um, and uh, I think it just has like a leopard lining, which is, you know, kind of a cool detail, but still it's just, you know, beautiful corduroy collar. Uh, got these pants, the skate pant, which I guess are a Wacko Maria uh, blank rather than a Carhartt blank. Uh, from what I was reading, that's what it sounded like. I know Carhartt does have some trousers that are like this, but... Um, the, I mean, this, this stuff, it's just like, why, man? Why, what, what's the need for this? If you're going to collaborate, why just do this? Literally, all they did was change the font for car and then put guilty party. Like, that's all that happened. And, I mean, there's pieces they did less on. Um, if you look at, if you look at the beanies, literally all they did was change the font and the tag. But, at least, I think these are the normal price for the, the watch beanies, so at least, they didn't charge more for that. Also came in a purple and a black, which have since sold out. But really, it's just like, that's the only thing that changed. But yeah, coming into this collaboration, I was more I was more hyped. I was like, ooh, might be some cool stuff. I guess this work jacket's kind of cool, just because, you know, the uh, leopard print is a cool print. But once again, you know, that's, that's all that I did. No branding on the back or anything, which especially with these uh, American script t-shirts, I was expecting something on the back, but nothing, you know, maybe a big Carhartt leopard print logo or something. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't really feeling Is this Carhartt website deliver in Canada? <laughs> Is this Carhartt website deliver in Canada? Uh, do they? Maybe. Um... This is the US specific one, and I know they have a bunch of different, like, um, I know they have a bunch of different web stores, so I'd, I'd look for, like, a Canada one first. And then also, like, another thing you could do, you can also, or you can always look for uh, third party websites that are, like, um, Carhartt retailers. That's what I do for a lot of it. There are actually places in Europe you can order Carhartt Whip from and pay less than the u.s website because i don't know i don't know why they charge so much for the u.s website because they do have u.s stores so i don't know but this is a good look for i'm um, trying to find anything and every now and then the car whip website does have sales like end of the season so was it like a little bit post winter and then um like two months ago i think they just wrapped up their big like um summer sale or whatever spring sale i don't know but yeah, they do have some sales with some decent discounts. Um, I've gotten some pants for like over half off before and car whip pants are very nice, very nice denim. But yeah, that's, that's all I got to talk about for car hard whip. So we can move on to the last part of the live stream, which is the giveaway. So when's the lookbook? When's the lookbook for revenge? Um, with the drop coming up next Sunday. I would assume the lookbook would probably drop Thursday, maybe? Thursday? Friday, maybe? <laughs> hey, all right. So, Young Dior knows what's up. If anybody wants to be entered in to win a possible sticker pack, just type, like, me in the chat or something so I can see it. So I know to type your name, know to give you a chance to win. And uh, once we get everybody in here, we'll spin this wheel of names, as it's called. And, uh, yeah, we'll figure out who wins. And you guys can DM me on Instagram, send you your stuff. Um, I'm not going to put numbers in already dead because I'm lazy. 
Um, Duke. Damn, I'm typing on my... I have an Alienware for streaming. But typing on this. I'm so thrown off from, like, working on my MacBook at work all day. The keys are way different. Um, Duke. Salawas. But, yeah. I guess not... I was going to ask what you guys been up to. Want to want the chat to chill for a little bit while I enter names, though. Oops. <laughs> Daddy Harambe. <laughs> Heroin father. I like how you have the hyphen just so we know who it is. Hey, I believe Ronaldo won one last time. El Buena. A 40 cow. Is that so? Weather main. <laughs> uh, Liam Russo, you can put in there anyway. What is happening? Uh, I'm going to give away a sticker pack. So, uh, anybody who wants to be entered to win a possible sticker pack, just, you know, say your name or say me in the chat like everybody's doing. And what, what are we even doing here? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, if there's anybody else in there, let me know. But yeah, we, we guys been up to. There's been a lot of good stuff to watch lately. I feel may, maybe just for me anyway, since I just got HBO. But I've been watching a ton of stuff on HBO. But they also just released the second season, sort of, of Haunting on Hill House. Is it Hill House or House Hill? Oh. Hill House. They just released the follow-up to Hill House, which I thought was a super cool Netflix show, yes, some of the episodes did drag a little bit, but I thought it was really cool. I, I like the approach where they had um, a bunch of like ghosts in the background, but they didn't pay attention to it and made it like super eerie. So like they wouldn't nod to anything or acknowledge anything in the background, but there'd be shit in the background. Like every scene, if you were just paying attention, there'd be like ghosts randomly chilling too. Um, so it made for like a really eerie vibe of it and apart from that, you know, good acting, good story. I thought it was really cool and the second or the continuation of that series just came out. So I haven't watched that yet because I'm we're, like I said, working on Outsider. I think it's Outsider, Outsiders. I think it's just Outsider, but, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, we're working on watching on that and, uh, I'm excited to watch Bly Manor is the one that's called Haunting of Bly Manor. I think, uh, looks pretty dope. Probably watch that sometime next week. But yeah, we, what have you guys been up to? Somebody said, I've been here. <laughs> Thanks for the stream, by the way. Anytime, man. Uh, yeah. I always have the intentions of streaming every weekend, but it doesn't always pan out. Really depends on, like, topics. Because I've tried, like, streaming games, and you guys don't necessarily care about that. So, um, I don't know. Usually I just try to, like, save it up till there's, like, a bunch of, like, drops to go over or talk about. A lot of stuff that I haven't covered is usually good, too. Oh, damn, really? I love that series. Yeah, yeah, second season. Seems to be 9.15 in here. <laughs> yeah, it smells like 9.15 in here. Is it out now? Yeah, Blind Manor came out yesterday, the 9th. Um, Shrek Daddy. I ah, gotcha. Um, but, yeah, actually, a dude that I watch... I don't know if you guys watch, like, any gaming channels or whatever. You might see him. Um uh Rahul Cooley he does a fundraising or like a charity stream where <laughs> he gets drunk with uh two of his buddies and then they recite the entire Star Wars script from memory and then like every time they mess up or like need to get a line from the script that they don't know they drink and it's like I don't know I love I love it they get so into it too for like the second film that they went over they did like voice changers and stuff so funny but he he's got a part in the show i haven't seen it so i'm not sure how big of a part but seems to be in like eight out of ten episodes i want to say so it must be a pretty decent sized part so i'm excited to watch just for that but also um yeah just just excited to check that out when i get a chance uh you should do underrated brands top five i've like way back i did a video that was kind of about that like streetwear brands you should that are worth checking out or something or like budget or whatever i don't know but yeah i need i need to do some more like topic videos instead of just drops drop list videos 9 15 only real ones now 
Uh, do I like pleasures? Uh, I've gone back and forth on them. Some like I see some stuff they put out, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then I see other stuff, and it's like, all right, I'm unfollowing these guys. Or music reviews. <laughs> I put out that uh that Joji tier list, and people really did not like it. <laughs> There's a lot of hate on that, and it's like, uh, it's a tier list, man. Also, I like I I wanted to get it out really early, so I only listened. I only had like two days to listen to the album, so. Um, I wasn't the most familiar with a lot of the songs. When's Revenge's next drop? Next drop is October 18th. <laughs> um, yeah, next Sunday. If, if you want to watch, we talked about a bunch of Revenge stuff. So you can rewind or else watch the re-upload if you are really interested. Pleasure is kind of weird. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to get them stickers. I'm the best. Thank you, thank you. Any, if, any info on what they drop in? The pants are the only confirmed thing. But anyway... We're going to we're going to spin this. I think everybody's in here. How much stuff have you copped from following Streetwear Startup? Streetwear Startup, not a whole lot. I think actually I, I usually don't buy from Streetwear Startups. Um, there there's definitely stuff that I like, but I don't know. I just <laughs> haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, I liked them two years ago. This stuff's kind of basic now. Are you gonna guess the revenge password? <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll do a revenge stream for sure. They released a shirt with two dogs. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, it was like, let me be your dog, or I want to be your dog, something like that, I saw. But anyway, um, there's one more question I wanted to answer. How much stuff do you ha have I copped from Sewer Startups? Just one t-shirt, I think. Um, there's a bunch of stuff, like, from brands that I've gone over that I really like. I've been meaning to pull the gun on some Awake at 3 stuff. I really like Awake at 3. They they line up with stuff I like. Um, Lame, Unofficial, I really like their stuff, too. That's stuff I would definitely wear. Um, but there are, there are a bunch of brands I go over that I wouldn't wear, but I really like. Um, like Sad Sack's one of them. I, I don't know. I don't really like his designs for stuff that I would wear, but it's a really respectable brand. Uh, they released a shirt with, yeah. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, just storm the gates. I bought a Wisconsin Wendigo shirt, which you can see. I think I did an unboxing for it to like help him out. Not that he asked or anything, but uh, he's a solid dude and he did an interview for me, so like helping people out gotta support them small brands boy yeah small brands don't get views though <laughs> um but anyway i gave you guys plenty of time to enter we're spinning it three two one who's gonna win i love that it does the little like bopping too Ronaldo Balbuena, if you could please send me a DM and we'll get your sticker pack sent out for real. Um, and like I said, I think he might have won before. Uh, some Ronaldo or something like that won before, so I'll, I'll, we can do one more just to make sure we get a new winner as well. I'm not sure if any of you other guys have already won one. Is pasta in here? I know he bought one. So I said, for real, GG. <laughs> Let's go. Good stuff. Uh, GG, GG, LOL. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, we'll do one more. We'll do one more giveaway um, for the stickers. Imagine he lives in Poland or something, LMAO. I have international stamps, so it's all good. Um, with, I mean, the thing is with these sticker packs, it's super easy to send it out because if it's in the US, I just literally put like one stamp on it because it weighs like that little. And I can just pop it in the mailbox and it goes. Same thing with the international ones. I have these, um, I forget what they called them. They're like lotus stamps or something like that. Like green lotus stamps. And you just put one of those stamps in the envelope and ship it wherever worldwide. So it's pretty cool just because the envelope weighs so little. It's literally just like five stickers I'm sending out. So it's pretty cool that you can just pop that in the mailbox. A lot easier than like reselling a shirt or something where you got to go drop it off and whatnot calm i'm in the uk <laughs> uh this is for the revenge sticker pack this is so uh i'll, I'll give another one away right now <laughs> and then i can get back to my watch my show i think that's what we're doing after oh close to matthew mateo mateo ah adrian lamelli if you're still in the chat please send me a DM on Instagram and then we can get these sorted out. Um, obviously no mail tomorrow. So, uh, I can ship them out tomorrow though. And they'll be heading your way Monday. Probably get them 
later that week. I don't know. The mail's been just ridiculous lately. I ordered a t-shirt, and it shipped from Iowa. Kind of funny. Like, I talked to the dude. Uh, it was on Grailed, and he uh, he had, like, an Iowa uh, Hawkeye shirt up, and that's, like, where I graduated from. So I talked to him a little bit, and I was like, oh, like, Hawkeye, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it shipped from Iowa to Kansas City, which is, like, I don't know, not that far. The shirt gets here, and then USPS yeets it all the way over to Nebraska, and I was like, I called customer service. I was like, why is my shirt in my city, about to be here, and then you guys send it to Nebraska, and then they're like, oh yeah, it must have been on the wrong truck or something. I was like, wow. Lady was nice though, so I wasn't like super mad or anything, but it was kind of whack. Um, what else? Uh, somebody wanted to look at Bape and, uh, was it Bape and, uh, OVO? Very small collection, I think. I think it's only, like, or anyway, what I saw that was teased was, like, three pieces, but maybe there's a lot more. Looks like there's a lot more, actually. A lot of people saying GG. Uh, I'll DM you right now. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll DM back once, uh. Cause no one wins those. Sh no one. Uh, no one wins those. Uh, if you think about it, aren't we all uh, sneaker virgins in here? Snurk. What? Talking about the sneakers app? Dude, I've never won a drawing. I've been able to cop some like actual like drop release ones, but never the drawing. I've always lost. Them. Someone hijacked that. <laughs> uh, sounds like our ballots getting shipped. <laughs> Uh, I've had shit sit in a city for weeks, and they wouldn't let me come pick it up. <laughs> When's the Bape OVO drop? Uh, I assume somewhere in here they have the release date. <laughs> hey, isn't this, wait, is that Shoreline Mafia or something? Oh, geez, yeah, right? Available 10-10. Oh, shit, today. <laughs> I guess it's available now. Maybe we can go at Bape and uh, actually check out the drop. Like I said, I don't really follow Bape too much. Uh, okay, this is not Bape. I think you have to go to a bathing ape. Do they have an actual like website for Bape? Oh, I guess they do actually have Bape.com. <laughs> Jesus music. All right, bathingape.com. Uh, God, every time I go here, I get an aneurysm because this is ridiculous. Like. Just take me to the close. Um, men, I guess. Where's the OVO stuff? New releases. First camo shark. Like, look at this. Bro, I just want to see the OVO stuff. Uh, uh, is this... Uh, whatever. Alright, we're just looking at the teaser then, I guess. I guess Bape doesn't want us to see it all. Uh, we got some red stuff. It says October's, which yeah, I'm guessing it's a Drake thing. Like like I said, I don't really follow Drake anymore. So October's something makes sense. I'm dropping now. October's very own. Looks like you get the little OVO owl uh, along with the Bape head. Um, when's the Bape? Yeah, today. <laughs> Let me go. You got a girl to attend to. I got a show to attend to. Uh, Bape is uncomfortable. I copped a shark tee a while back. Really? I've always wondered because I mean the Bape t-shirts are super expensive. They do kind of they do kind of look like um, Like stiff shirts though from the like product images OVO not crazy about the kind of looks like it's like chain stitching or oh, some weird outline on that Not really crazy about that. I mean, I do I do like this red Bape camo though uh, I won't deny that but yeah, I mean just looking at the shirt it does kind of look a little stiff maybe i don't know i'd hope for the price that babe charges it'd be comfortable a bunch of iphone cases basic not fan of this embroidery um just a lot of the same man get some keychain cool a mask I, i'm not crazy about these masks like the cloth ones a little bit more um supreme has done like some arabic logo ones like that uh, the hat. Hat's, hat's alright, I guess, the OVO hat. Ooh, truck or two. <laughs> October's very own. This looks whack. This is, like, minimal effort. Yeah, I don't like that. It's almost like it's supposed to be, like, a... 
not chain link, but I, I'm not sure what it would, what the approach for it would be. This looks, I don't know, whatever. Uh, the tape, I saw this tape before, it was whack, I don't know why people release in tape, you know. Baby Milo, I've really never been a fan of Baby Milo. Like, uh, this and like Moschino has a bunch of like little kid stuff, designs like that. I've just never really gotten behind that. Big R on it, okay, big trademark. Yeah, and I guess that's that's it for the lookbook or whatever. Maybe that's all that dropped. Quite a bit there, honestly, though. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not crazy about it. Bape is that better stuff. Maybe even the antisocial. The antisocial drop was smaller, I think. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> pause. <laughs> I like my shirts like I like my men's. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, <laughs> if that ain't sus... OVO October's very own. Oh, all right. I never even I never even knew that. Yeah, their stiff material isn't soft either. I can't imagine what a crew neck would feel like. Uh, can I get a link for the revenge leak? Yeah, I mean it's in the it's in the description for the video. We have a link to the Discord, and then there's a channel on that Discord that has literally every single leak for the past couple months since we started the leak channel. So, um, if you go there, other than that, like I don't have. Uh, <coughs> bless you <laughs> She's sitting over there apologizing um but yeah i guess you could also go to the subreddit which is linked in the description down below so if you know there's two ways to get to the leaks but yeah discord's the surefire way to go because it literally has the leaks channel where you can see everything who sneezed admit it <laughs> which one of you was it <laughs> somebody said girl <laughs> but yeah that is uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. We also covered an extra topic. We got this uh, Bape OVO in there for you. Um, in other news, Supreme had a crazy drop this week. But, you know, of course I covered that on the channel. Also covered the Palace Rafa drop, which I guess has some crazy resell. Um, stock must have been really low for that. I think they had some cool designs, but I wasn't... I don't know. Palace is weird now. They, they used to have really good resell, but... Some items are cool, just kind of sit, don't really resell. So, I, I don't know. I thought it was hit or miss. I kind of contemplated going for one for resell, but I don't know, man. I, I guess it flew, though. I, I'm guessing stock was pretty limited on it. Supreme's website is trash. Yeah, you can say that again. That drop was ridiculous. Also, I uh, definitely missed out on the box logo, obviously, but I copped a bunch of other stuff. And uh, <laughs> I had to, I had a meeting at that time. So I was like in a Microsoft Teams meeting, had another Supreme window up and was trying to like pay attention or, you know, put up the facade while I was checking out. <laughs> but yeah, what what else, uh, what's everybody else up to? What's everybody watching? It's quarantine, you know, not necessarily quarantine. It's pandemic hours. What's everybody watching? Keeping busy. I'm also hit on the white bogo manual that's the one that i was going for uh, i think that was like the uh, longest seller time but you know, i'm i'm hyped so hyped for cyberpunk 2077 dropping in a month and nine days november 19th so so excited for that not my name's muerte on discord in case you see me on there just join the discord hey dope you you've been in the channel for a while so good thing you finally got over there um fan of up tempos hell yes i'm a fan of up tempos not the ones i've been leaking but i'm a fan of up tempos i got two pairs of up tempos dude i, I let me tell you i love brendan frazier and i think uh he uh secretly planted the love for up tempos in my mind when i watched george of the jungle as a wee lad and actually that very pair that black and white kind of like original pair that he has in that movie he um or i guess they're they're re-releasing which they've re-released it like three times now but they're re-releasing it again this holiday season so i need to get a pair maybe even two just to like have one as a grail and then just like a beater of the other one so i don't know I, I love up tempos though they're really fun too i love them um the cpfm up tempos or the cpfm af ones that they released like two years ago um i really liked they had like a it was nike id so you could customize it 
I thought these were really cool. I contemplated getting a pair, but then I didn't know it was like only a 24 hour release or something like that. So I missed out on them and I was kind of broke because I was still in college. So uh, I had a pair that was like really cool planned out to get and I tweaked and didn't get them. But man, I thought these were really cool. And the flea air, or you could get like sunshine and air. I don't know, I thought it was really cool, but I missed out on those. And then they also released these not too long ago, but that drop, if you tried to go for those, it was ridiculous. It dropped on the CPFM website, which was just, I don't know, it, it was hell if you guys went for those. But yeah, I really like AF1s. Uh, not, not AF1s, up tempos, my bad. AF1s are all right too. What college did I go to? University of Iowa. I was a hot guy on Iowa. <laughs> Big Ten, which I think uh, I think Big Ten football is starting up. Was it next uh, two weeks from now? I think the 23rd. Hawkeyes have their first game, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. GG. Ronaldo Balboina said it the best. GG. And until next time. Uh, as far as uploads this week, I got an upload I've been sitting up sitting on for a while. It's a little bit of a story time video. So if nothing too much comes out, I'll finally upload that. Other than that, we have for sure a revenge drop list of some sorts coming late this week, I would assume. So there will be that. Um, do you play any sports? I know you're like 6'4". <laughs> nah, I didn't play any sports. I ran a lot, but no sports. Um, and yeah, we got that revenge video. As always, you know, if Palace does like a cool collaboration or if Supreme does a cool collaboration, I'll do a video on it. But if it's a trash drop, you know, like I, I just can't bring myself to spend time on a drop list for something I really don't care about. <laughs> Unless it's something that's like, it's so bad I want to talk about how bad it is. But I don't know. I'm, I'm sure they'll have some cool collaboration. I know Supreme North Face is supposed to be dropping soon, so maybe that'll be this week. But uh, regardless, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We got a beautiful Saturday night here. Great weather. Um, I think m mostly around the United States. I think weather is pretty good. But, uh, yeah, everybody enjoy your weekend. Watch some Bly Manor and give your boy uh, Rahul Cooley a shout-out. He's a cool dude. He has some cool... Uh, youtube gaming content and those charity live streams are dope for sure but thank you guys for watching um if you won once again be sure to dm me so we can get you your sticker packs and until next week man we'll uh, we'll be here live streaming for the for the revenge drop so catch me then